The search for the most unique fragrances continues. As I mentioned today, I have three videos, three different videos of three different fragrances from different houses. Actually, one of the videos is several fragrances, but we're doing a day of uh, new fragrances with giveaways and I'm sending out the giveaways myself. And today is a fragrance from a photographer turned, uh, you know, Perfume. He's not a perfumer, but he creates these limited edition fragrances. His name is Roberto Greco, and this is Porter Sapo, this one right here. Uh, this fragrance just launched. It's limited to only 500 bottles. Basically, Porter Sapo translates to wearing your skin. And I'm going to tell you all about this one. We do have three samples to give away to three subscribers of this channel. And as I said, today I'm doing one of three videos. This is uh, one of them. If you haven't caught the other videos, then uh, please also go catch those videos uh, where you'll have a chance at winning other giveaway prizes. But if you wanna find out about Porter Sapo from Roberto Greco, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I hope everyone's having a great week and uh, with Christmas just around the corner, you're ready for um, you know your Christmas uh, celebrations and things like that. So I did decide to do three videos today, as I said, from three different houses with giveaways. All three videos have giveaways. Uh, one of the videos was a full bottle uh, and then another one has uh, three small 10 ml sizes of three different fragrances. And of course here with Porter Sapo from Roberto Greco, we have three samples. The reason this is a three sample giveaway is because this is a limited edition. Only 500 bottles are made currently being sold at Lucky Scent as well. And I'm going to tell you all about this particular fragrance. But before I get to the fragrance, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So if you don't know about Roberto Greco, he is a photographer. He does some great photography for different brands. Paris Monte Carlo uh, is one of the brands he's done uh, photographs for. He does perfume photography. But last year, I did a video on the channel with Dahlia of his previous limited edition fragrance called Oyel, this one right here. If you haven't caught that video, please go catch it. Um, the fragrance, uh, as I said, is still being sold. It hasn't sold out yet, and uh, it's a great fragrance. Uh, different fragrances, and this is uh, one of the things I like about this particular brand, if you would call it a brand. I think these are more like projects, personally, because they are limited edition and uh, things like that. They're unique scents, and with the fact that I sample so many fragrances, there are fragrances like these that uh, will not remind me of another fra fragrance. You know what I mean? They're very unique creations. So Porter Seppo by Roberto Greco was sent to me. Roberto Greco reached out to me and said, I'd like you to be the one to review this particular fragrance. So I said, definitely, I'd be honored to review this one because I really love oil a lot. I'm probably butchering the way you say that word. Basically, it means blinkers. But here, Porter Sapo means wearing your skin. It's a musky fragrance, launched in 2020 recently. 50 ml bottle, $210. This I would call an aldehydic floral musk. That's the style of this fragrance. And for notes, what we have here are aldehydes, hawthorn, angelica for top notes. Heart notes are narcissus, ylang ylang, jasmine, orris, bran. Base notes, musk, patchouli, leather, akigala wood, hyrax, ambergris. So when you look at the notes, they're not notes that are typically found in uh, you know fragrances. They're unique notes. Like aldehydes do come up and aldehydes tend to be very effervescent, sparkly, somewhat soapy to me. Uh, and you know, I get a soapy quality with this one, not because the bottle looks like a little bit of a soap bar, but there is a soapy touch running throughout the fragrance. Um, so it, it has animalic touches, but, and also musky, but it's like a contrast, you know? Sometimes you associate the musk and animalic touches to be a little on the dirty side. It could come off that way with some people, but it's almost like it's a, it's a fusion of clean and, you know, dirty, which is kind of unique in some ways, you know? It, it makes it very, very, very unique for me. And I love aldehydes and fragrances to begin with, and this one actually really does work wonderfully together. So 
aldehydes, if you don't know much about aldehydes, I think you guys should definitely check into this particular note. Um, a lot of fragrances from Chanel, I would say, kind of use aldehydes, uh, like especially number five, but some of their other fragrances do. But it doesn't really come up often uh, in male targeted fragrances. Sometimes they do, but uh, they do come up quite a bit in... Um, uh, uh, feminine fragrances and some unisex fragrances and aldehydes to me has a light airiness about it as a note so this one actually there is a floaty air airy kind of uh, ethereal kind of a quality uh, running throughout the fragrance just uh, there, it's just like you know like floating uh, comes up when I when I experience aldeh aldehydic fragrances so this one starts off with that aldehydic blast it's a little sparkly, almost like when you're taking a sip of champagne and it's still fizzing, you know, that sparkle that hits your nose. You experience that here with this particular fragrance. Uh, quite a unique uh, experience. I really do love uh, aldehydes. And again, here's where I get the soapiness with uh, Porter Sapo, this particular stage of the fragrance, um, along with that Hawthorne and Angelica. And here are notes, once again, not traditionally frequently appearing in fragrances so it's a unique experience right off the bat now in the heart notes it's another note that doesn't frequently come up narcissus generally doesn't come up in fragrances it's a flower obviously it's a yellow flower and here the heart is mostly uh, the floral part of this uh, fragrance along with the ylang ylang and the jasmine uh, those are some of the floral touches but I think this is mostly about the narcissus as the star of the fragrance well actually I would call this mostly about aldehydes narcissus and musk but the narcissus is pretty prominent in the uh, heart section of this fragrance stands out there's some uh, yellow touches when you smell them there is a sm slight smoky a little jasmine like smell but it's a different, you know, it doesn't smell so much like a jasmine, which is a white flower. You can pick out the little bit of uh, different uh, nuances of the Narcissus flower with this one. Along with some Ylang Ylang is also a prominent here, another yellow flower and some jasmine. But you know what, around here, you also experience a little bit of powdery touches with this fragrance as well because of that Oris note or the Oris butter note. And then of course there's some Bran. Another note that doesn't appear frequently, you know, in fragrances. Now, as the fragrance is drying down, it's becoming very musky and animalic. So the fragrance does become animalic in the base notes. And here's where we experience the contrast of clean and a little bit of dirty, you know, that the animalic touches in the base with the clean, uh, fizzy, sparkly, effervescent qualities of the aldehydes. It's a nice, nice, definitely a nice contrast. But also because of the aldehydic touches here, the fragrance has, as I said, a very, very floaty kind of experience. Light, but I wouldn't necessarily call this fragrance a light fragrance, if that makes sense. So it's a unique fragrance, and I like that about it. It's a unique smell, and I like fragrances that I haven't smelled before to smell, you know, because I've smelled everything else. Uh, my, my, my nose wants new, you know, and this is definitely a new kind of smell. I mean, when you start putting the notes together, it might remind distantly of some other things, but in the end, it's a pretty unique fragrance experience. But with this one, it's very musky and the um, base notes, there is a little bit of a leathery touch. Uh, Akigala wood and patchouli comes in as well and we're getting a little bit of a saltiness and a little bit of animalic uh, touches. Uh, Ambergris and hyrax are definitely present as well. So I feel like this is going back to the days of uh, earlier days of perfumery when uh, perfumers threw in so many different kinds of notes and created a unique concoction you know this is a very unique concoction they, the perfumer has done an excellent job creating something unique like this to give us something uh, you know, stuff that we haven't smelled before. It's a very, very unique wearing experience, and I really enjoy the whole aldehydic touch with the muskiness in the base notes. Of course, the the uh, Narcissus note is really, really prominent in, in this one as well. So I recommend this one to people that enjoy the musky fragrances, the uh, animalic fragrances, and of course, the aldehydic fragrances as well. If you are pretty new in the hobby of buying perfumes, smelling perfumes, I'd say hold off on this one because it is a fragrance for the 
true perfume aficionado. I feel like if you've been doing this for a while, you've been testing out lots of different fragrances, have been dabbling into all the different styles and are familiar with the notes that I, you know, I told you about that are present and prominent in this fragrance, this is something you might enjoy. So I recommend you get a sample to test it out. And of course, I have three samples to give away if you are a subscriber from the USA, if you want to stick around till the end to participate. So in the end, we have another really beautiful offering from Roberto Greco called Porter Sapo, Wearing Your Skin, along with Oyer, this one right here from Roberto Greco. If you don't know these fragrances or Roberto Greco, you should definitely look him up on Instagram. He does some really very interesting photos, uh, photography. So I would, I would follow his Instagram account to see some of his work. I recommend that you do. But if you're into the idea of these fragrances and you know what I have to be honest I really 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 am obsessed with these bottles they're the most gorgeous little bottles I mean I, I really loved this one when this one uh, had first come out then when I saw this I was like wow these are some amazing looking bottles but they look beautiful with some very very edgy juices inside that I recommend that you try now a little goes a long way with these fragrances as well um, and uh, wear it and uh, enjoy it, you know, kind of a thing. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Roberto Greco's Porter Sapo. As I said, go catch my review for Oyer. That video is done with Dahlia. Obviously, we can't connect to do more videos, but I think she might like this one. I'll have to figure out a way to send her a sample, but either way, if you want to participate in the giveaway for the, the samples, I have three to give away to three subscribers of this channel from the USA. And once again, if you want to participate, but you are not in the USA, but you have a relative or a friend here in the USA that can collect your prize, then you can participate. And what you, you should do to participate is please make sure to you subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm saying this frequently now, I will be making sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel going forward in the next year, in the new year. Put a comment down as to what you liked about this video review for Porter Sapo. Why do you want to win the sample of Porter Sapo? What makes this fragrance intriguing for you to want to win a sample? And finally, please put your state. Uh, if you're in California like me, put California. If you're in New York State, put New York State. But please make sure to include your state so you can qualify. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video today for Roberto Greco's Porter Sapo, Wearing Your Skin. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please make sure to catch the other videos today. There's three total with three different prizes. I hope you guys are doing well and ready for Christmas. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.